This is the spur wheel off the Merlot. Sam's just sanded it down and masked it off. Go paint it silver. Chippers going walkies. I'm sure we made a frame for moving that round easier. Just been doing some double chip there. Now it's going back to do single chip. When it starts rolling. Man coming today with uh, such a long wait on machines. We ordered one like the beginning of last summer. Anyway, it might turn up in April. We've not officially done the deal of how much it's going to cost and how much this one's worth. So he's on his way. He's bringing a bacon sandwich to try and put me up a bit. This pipe was all curly. It's for the jet wash shot blast that we're going to try. So we just put it in the earth tunnel overnight, and now it's just hanging up straight. No. Nope. No bends in it whatsoever, so hopefully it'll cool to the right shape of straight and we'll try it. Charlotte's nicked me hat, so I've got my order. Andrew's going to go to the toy shop and get some play sand because we think it's just the same thing but cheaper because they reduce play sand at this time of year because no one's playing in a sand pit in the garden. There's a wagon just turned up for oil seed rape, so I'm just doing its, its paperwork so we've got to weigh it in and out, do its passport, put a little sticker on to show that it's task approved filling is uh, all the details of that onto that onto that and then also on our recording thing as well another fuel delivery but again on the first you have to pay for it until next month but... there's a present on your way on the way to your Simon you'll know who it is just got the digger in the yard to take some pictures off Just tracking the digger back in its parking place at the end of the yard. It's a 2018, so it comes just before Christmas in 18. So it says 18 on the bill, but really it didn't get used till January 19. It's done 2,790 hours, and it's probably worth mid to late 50s. So if anyone's interested in a 313 cat, is it? It'll be available in April. Sam's painted that now. Looks pretty good good job because this one the lace is just blown out of it anyway i've just put a new lace in now we're just blowing it up put a bit of glue on it tj21 sends in for a load putting the last few bucket full on now this is the one that was in the calendar shoot so it was in scania's calendar shoot and also in my calendar this year this TJ lorry, wagon, trailer, whatever you want to call it. I don't know whether you can see. He's got his Dyson out over in his cab, doing his housework. I bet you that wagon gets hoovered more than his bedroom or his house by him. There's quite a few jokes of why he might have a hoover in his cab, but obviously it's for cleaning his cab. Pretty clean that. <laughs> Eight month old and it's still. It's like it's out the factory. What's that air freshener? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Smells like a tart sandbag. <laughs> <laughs> Another one loaded up. T90, I think. Play sand's not what it used to be. It used to be golden yellow. That looks more like grit sand. We'll dry it out and see if it works. I'm not sure if it'll work this, but we'll dry it out in the earth tunnel and see. Just made a voyage for the stone trailer. We're going to try it on some of the drainage stone now. See if it works. Probably a bit too big a bucket for loading it. Best way over the back on the 20 tonner or 22 tonner, whatever. There we go, it's the belt folding down. Seems to be catching a bit that belt, but. Alright, 
as well then, with the Vario gearbox, you can control your speed. Go and weigh it now, and then we can see what it uses in however many meters. We're just driving along now, and seeing how many tons it puts out in so many meters, just to get a bit of an idea of what speed we need to be going and what we're going to use. Andrew's just going to put a block on it because when you drop it off, it, it's too slow for the tractor, so he's just going to put a little bit more of a foot underneath it. Just at Brookhouse now, unloading all the stuff from Costco, so toilet roll, kitchen roll, cleaning rolly stuff. And the lads are over there, just sorting the guttering out now, hopefully. Gutters are all on now, just starting to take the staff folding down, so we took the rails off and the boards off, just taking the, um, the rest of the framework down. It's going dark now, but pretty much finished, just a few little bits of scaffolding to take down to get a better video tomorrow. This was yesterday's quiz question. It is in fact, loads of people got it right. It's got loads of different names, but we call it a concrete rake. But if you want to read yesterday's comments, you'll see all the different names that people call them. Dead easy quiz question today. And there's even a clue as well, if you look closely. So anyone know what that's for? Big thick piece of steel, quite heavy. If you think you know, leave a comment below. Forgot to say, when I got home from Costco last night, Chester had helped himself with two books off the bookshelf and destroyed them. So this is what we came back to. Chester, what have you done? Is that a book? What have you chewed up? And if you want to see more of his videos, don't forget, Chester's video link is probably normally below my video, so his channel on YouTube's there as well. Birthday bumper time. It might be a bit dark, is it? Yeah, it's a bit dark, so I'll have to flip the camera. This is today's birthday bumper, lots of girls today. So happy birthday to you lot. And anyone else that might be having a birthday today that's not on a bumper or I've forgotten about. Anyway, big news, Charlotte has managed to build a website where you can buy these hats. You can also go on the link to look at some other hats and clothing and different things like that. So if you go to agricontract.com, you'll be able to see it. So we've just got the numbers on that are in stock, but if they sell out, you can register your interest so we know how many to order. Because what I don't want to do is order another like 200 hats. The weather warms up in a few weeks and I've got 200 hats to, in my way till sort of next November. So if you want to check it out, www.agricontract.com and um, hope if you be quick, there should be some of everything on there. So thank you for everyone that's watching today. And tomorrow I'm on my way to the Yorkshire Machinery Show. Yams, is it? Yorkshire Agricultural Machinery Show. So I've never been before. Apparently it's a little bit like Lama. So there's a few people up there that know. So I'm going to go and check out McVeigh and Parker because Amanda's there who keeps his sheep here. So I'm going to go say hello to her, get a brew out of her. I know Tom Pemberton's on his way up with his dad as well. So you might see him there as well as me. And then also I'm going to go and see Haycap Guy. So AKA David Sowery. So if you go and see him, mention watching this channel. Apparently there's 25% off Haycaps tomorrow at the show for you. So go and see him as well. And also, Jamie's meeting me there, and we're going to go and look at a front rate that he's interested in. So if you're there, say hello, and I will might see some of you tomorrow. If not, I will see you on YouTube tomorrow night. Actually, yeah, completely forgot as well. I've got a novelty check, and apparently FCN are going to be there, so we're going to, we're going to do the whole photo shoot novelty check of how much money we raise from the calendars and the open day. So we'll get an opportunity to do that tomorrow. So And also, if you're going, let me know below.